morning. I've come down to East Knee Point, I think that's what it's called. It's a little spit of land. We're at the south southeast corner of Portsmouth. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump on the old hailing ferry and go for a little trip across Langston Harbour. Then I'm going to come straight back again. <laughs> I've never been on the hailing ferry all my life, but I'm going to do it now. Bring you back when we're halfway across, or when we're I, maybe I'll film the whole trip because it only takes two and a half minutes. Whew, I can't wait. That's the hailing ferry over there. A little boat. That's Hailing Island over there. And this is the mouth of Langston Harbour on the east side of Portsmouth, west side of Hailing. Might go and have a little cook up a little steak on the bush box next to that but down there afterwards. The ferry boat in. Go down this down this bridge.
on a great trip. So that was from East Knee to Hailing. But now I'm on the Hailing side. I'll do a little bit of filming here. And then I'm going to head straight back to East Knee in Portsmouth. You see some of the Langston Harbour. Muddy McMagical. I'll just hover over it and you can pause it if you want to. There's a cycle path that goes all the way around Hailing Island, all the way around Portsmouth. You can get back on the ferry there. So it's a busy harbour. Yeah, some big boats going here. Captain of the um, ferry told me it was um, 18 metres deep across Langston Harbour entrance. So, yeah. Deeper than I thought it was. So this is Langston Harbour entrance from the Hailing Island side. <laughs> I've just come from over there. It's a great little journey. Enjoyed that. Ferries over there. I'll be going on the next trip back. see the current there can't you quite a strong current goes through here a few little tips about crabbing there Catch a lot of them down by Canoe Lake in South Sea. Let's get back on the ferry. No fishing beyond this point. There we go, we're heading back. Harbour Master's boat there, look. Someone's got a drone. <laughs> cool. I want one of them. Master. He's got his own boat. It's a very tranquil spot. Being out here. I think I'm the only one on it going back. film the whole trip going back.
bit like Leonardo DiCaprio. This is the captain. What's your name, sir? Colin. Colin. Expertly. Well, it's, it's not driven, is it? Piloted. Piloted, of course, <laughs> yeah. Brilliant, it was amazing. I got lucky. Yeah, and this is his ship, mate. What's your name? CJ. CJ. Colin. Amazing. <laughs> and uh, how long's the ferry been operating? It, it just stopped for a little while, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, the, it stopped for 15 months and uh, we've been on it now for nearly nearly five and a half years. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's, uh, really, it's like a, it's on my bucket list to do it all this time and now yeah. it's all come true. <laughs> Fantastic. Cheers, champs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the trip. Bye. I love that. Have a lovely day, mate. And you, thank you. So there we are. The captain and his ship, mate. That was an amazing thing to watch. You knew exactly how to steer that thing. All credit. All credit. It's great that was. Put a big smile on my face. I thought I'd sit down here. This is right on the tip of that shingle spit by Eastney. I just come from over there, hailing ferries just behind that blue boat there. So I'm going to sit here, get the XL out, have a little cup of coffee. I've got some oat, oat, oaty milk coffee today, so that'll be different. And uh, I've got a steak I'm going to try and cook as well <laughs> on the grate. Yes, it's quite an angle here. <laughs> Get me stuff out. See how far I can get before I'm rumbled. Andrew, not doing anyone any harm. Let's see if this will light this in the wind. It would do, but um, the wind is just blowing it out on this. So, I'll do it like that. <laughs> I am on quite an incline here, but I think we can, uh, I think we got it sorted. Fire is going anyway. Didn't take long for that grate to warp. It's the first time I've used it. I really wanted to try it today. I'm gonna to cook steak on it. a bit of a wake. 
You can see the channel. This is, uh, I forget what they call this little bit. I'll, I'll put it in underneath when I'll. It's like a lake. Um, you see the green and the red posts. That's where you got to go between, basically, when the, when the tide's up. That's where the deeper channel is. Yeah. This is what I bought today. The cheapest piece of steak I could find. <laughs> Just a bit of beef steak, because I'm going to do it on the grill and I don't know exactly how it's going to perform. So, uh, give it a go though. Someone with a machine somewhere. Probably some sort of nautical machine. I think the war is nearly done. Ooh, ow. Wind is blowing the flame out at me. Do you know what that's going to do for me? I think the uh, water would have boiled quicker if I just used the trivets. I think this grate takes a lot of the heat away. So, uh, Yes. So to boil water, use the trivets. I think that's a better idea. Look how much that's warped already. Isn't that great. What's this oatmeal like? Yeah, it's alright. Not too bad. I prefer the Irish latte. Let's get this steak on. Cheap and nasty steak. Let's get it on. Let's see what it smells like. Not smell of anything really. There we go. We got it on. Got myself a little pair of, uh, you know, I don't think they're actually tongs. It's, I think it's. Uh, Tea bag squeezer, <laughs> but it seems to do the job. Ah. Flame grilled. I reckon that's going to taste fine. I didn't bring any condiments with me. Didn't even bring any salt, pepper, or sauce, or anything. Just going to have it on a plate. Fighting over seaweed. Well, they are from our steak. <laughs> oh, there they all go. You can hear it sizzling there a bit. Shows you how steep this angle is, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that. It's weird to think that I'm sitting on the most south southeasterly point of Portsmouth, actually. Yeah. And it's, all, it's almost like Portsmouth is an island across there, but yeah. Can you hear that steak st snake stizzle? Steak sizzle. <laughs> oh, it's great, isn't it? Love it here. It's a very tranquil spot. Just move it a little bit to give it that extra little bit of flame grill because it's nearly done. Oh, a little bit more for me, a little bit more for my taste. I think the 
someone over there catching lobsters. Got lobster pots. Which means I should put another bit of wood in because I want it to have done a bit more than that. Flame grilled it certainly is. I'm thinking that I do probably. Hang on. Been very awkward here. Yeah, that do me. Look how warp that is. First burn. But then again you can bend it back into shape, can't you? So there we are. Steak, XL, Langston Harbour. I'm about to nosh on this. Can't wait. It's still a bit rarer than I'd like, but. Mm. Oh yeah. Tell you what, for a cheap piece of steak, that ain't half bad. We'll have the flame grill bit. Mm. Nothing on it. No salt, no pepper, no sauce, nothing. Just a salty sea air. Here comes Big G. Big G's coming. There's Big G in his wake. <laughs> Sorry about the dodgy camera work. That drone is up in the air, up in the air again. Right there. <laughs> Actually, there was a bit of a scandal here a couple of months ago. It was on the BBC News and everything. That are the north of Langston Harbour. Uh, there's a water treatment plant, and someone had a drone up. For all I know, it might have been that same drone. <laughs> but they filmed uh, a load of what looked like a load of raw sewage being poured into Langston Harbour. And obviously, there's been a big investigation. In there. I don't know where it's gone yet, but it didn't look very good. Fire's nearly out. I don't mind though. I don't mind just letting it go cool because what a tranquil spot. What a lovely tranquil spot. I'll pan I'll turn you around and I'll pan round. Right, just stand behind me. Parked over that way somewhere. So it is, uh, I've, really, I've really enjoyed it here, 
sitting on this spit, this shingle spit. Love that ferry ride as well. That was amazing, watching it come in. Oh. Fire is out now. Just let it go cool. So that's how much that wood's burnt down. Practically to nothing. Still a few little embers there, but yeah. I am enjoying that stove. When you're somewhere like this, it makes you think deep thoughts. Deep, deep thoughts. See if the stove is pulled down. Oh, yeah. Still not walked, that's good. Can't say the same about the grate, but, um,. I've straightened it out. Yeah, look, I'll show you. Straightened it out. Just put, it, you put your foot on it and bend it back. So there, yes. Mustn't forget me trivets. <laughs> there we go. All done, all packed. <sighs> I think I'm going to sit here for a bit. A wonderful afternoon it's been. There's a siren again. Can't escape them, can you? I think this ship's seen better days. or boat, whatever you want to say. Hmm. Doesn't look very watertight. Tenth of August two thousand and four. <coughs> it's a shame. Seems like a nice boat. But then again, what do I know? <laughs> Even though I live in a navy city, I don't really know boats. Hmm. Hmm. There was a bloke here earlier. I think he was digging for bait. All gets replaced when a tide comes in. <clears throat> All fills in again. Yes, this is a nice little sandy bit of Langston Arbour actually. Can't hear the shingle underfoot. Say that again. <laughs> he was very vocal just a minute ago. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and this here is where the lifeboat would launch from head out into the Solent Hailing Ferry bus stop. Yeah. There you go, Portsmouth Lifeboat Station. 
Let's go and have a look at the ramp. And there it is. There's the lifeboat cruise ramp. Let's get around this side, have a look around here. Come out of there. Down the ramp. Into Langston Harbour. They're more than likely straight out the harbour entrance into the Solent and the English Channel. Oh. There are some really nice places in this city. Look how calm that is. Well, I'm going to head back to the car. Thanks for watching that. If you did watch all of it. If you watched the beginning, that's where the ferry was, wasn't it? I mean, that was an amazing adventure. Never been on that ferry before. And uh, a little chat with the, the well-seasoned crew. It's over there now, hanging an on. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time when we're open about. Wherever it may be. I don't know. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. Whew, free spirit. <laughs>